Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be learning about what provisions are, what reserves is and how this forms a part of depreciation. We'll be further understanding the difference between provision and reserves. So let's go ahead and find out what do we have in provisions and reserves for you today. So when we speak about provisions or reserves, we further describe on the technicalities of how anything is created out of profit to ensure or to make you understand these things have been written down here will be further evaluating what these things mean for you. Now let's go ahead point by point which will make sure that provisions and reserves are the concepts that has been cleared for you. We'll start with provisions first. Let's go ahead and find out what do we have in provisions here. Provision is basically created for expenses which are not yet incurred. Supposingly, we have given a loan to someone or probably we have given goods to someone on credit and now that we expect that there might be delay in payment or we might lose out on some payment. Hence, we charge that specific amount to our expenses or probably to our profit and loss account for the current year itself. Now, we are expected to receive that payment at the end of the current year. However, we think that this specific payment will not be coming through until next two years. Hence, what do we do is that we create a provision and we charge that provision against our profit and loss account itself because these are something that we expect that it might not come in the near future or it might get delayed due to any of these reasons which you might me think about. Hence, it is an expense that is charged to the current profit and loss account itself. That's the first point you need to remember about provisions. Let's go ahead and find out what do we have in the second point. The principle of conservatism is the basic ideology which is used when it comes to provisions or creating provisions. Conservatism is nothing but when it comes to minimizing loss or restricting loss to one specific point. Conservatism is all about when we follow the principle of reducing or minimizing all the cost that can be or any expectations about future losses that might happen, contingent things is something that we follow in terms of principle of conservatism. So when we create provision, this is something that we create every now and then. Hence, to make sure or to ensure that all these details are cleared, provision is a part of principle of conservatism. Hence, it is an expense that is charged against the current year as the first point and the second point states about how this principle of conservatism is directly related to creation of provision. Now, let's go ahead and figure out what the third point is. Now, we have certain examples here which have been already listed down when it comes to creation of provisions. We have provision for doubtful debts. We have provision for bad debts. We have provision for certain other things that has been mentioned. Let's figure out each of those. Provision for taxation, provision for repairs and renewals, etc. So once you know that all these things are certain things which are coming up in near future or which might come up in near future. Hence, this is something that we create for the contingency in terms of anything that we might suffer a loss in near future. Hence, a provision is always created. This is what we had for provision. We'll further have details on how this specific thing affects the profit and loss account and how it is placed in our balance sheet and against the assets and liabilities for which it has been created. When we talk about any provision that has been created, it is charged against the profit and loss account itself for the current year. So the provision might be created for the next few years. However, it is always charged at the current year resource itself. That means the profit and loss account for this specific year will be jeopardized or will be used when it comes to creation of provision and loss account. So any provision which has been created, it might be provision for doubtful debts, it might be provision for bad debts, it might be provision for taxation as well. So the tax which has to be paid in the next year will be a provision that has been created via current year's financial profit itself. So this is what the first point states here. 
charge against the revenue of current year that's the first point that has been mentioned let's figure out what are the points we have when it comes to creation of provision now the few certain points that have been mentioned here is provision is charged to the current assets or the current specific profit and loss that we have for the current year itself however when it comes to preparation of balance sheet it is as a deduction or it is shown as a deduction from the asset side for which the provision has been created and when it comes to the liability side it is shown as an addition or as a part of liability itself so when we speak about creation of provision that is nothing but a simple deduction if it is for asset and a simple addition if it is for a liability itself so if the provision has been already created for a liability and this will add up to the addition of it hence when it comes to balance sheet it will be either a deduction if it is on the asset side and an addition if it is on the liability side however the entry that you need to pass here is profit and loss account debit to provision for any specific reason so profit and loss account has been debited as a charge for the current year for any year of provision that you have to create and the provision as it is a credit balance will always shown on the credit side of any specific entry which has been already mentioned in this specific entry that has been mentioned in the sheet let's go ahead and figure that out so if you see profit and loss account to provision account has been already mentioned in this specific entry once that has been done we'll further go ahead and find out what reserves mean for us what are the kind of things that we have under reserve now provision is something that you create for any expectancy when it comes to future loss that you know that might or might not happen but if it happens there is something that you have already created as a provision for it that means you have already reduced your profit and loss account but does reserve has the same thing stored in for us let's figure that out now when we speak about reserves reserves is nothing but a part of the profit that has been set aside it is an apportionment to the profit make sure reserves is not a reduction to the profit it means you are dividing the profit into different parts that is being used however it is still a part of the profit itself it will be shown on the liability side under the capital part however there is no reduction in the profit and loss account there is no charge against the profit and loss account hence reserve is completely different from provision under provision you will have deductions from profit and loss account however in reserve there will be no deduction from profit and loss account it is a simple apportionment or a simple segregation of profit and loss account into different categories that is what the first point talks about let's go ahead and understand what do we have in the second third and fourth point under reserves now as we have mentioned unlike provision it is to ensure that the financial position of the company is strengthened that means if we show reserves and surplus with us that means we are showing on the liability side that our liability side has a lot of reserves lot of surplus that can be used for near future in case if there is any requirement now there are certain examples that has been mentioned to show that how these things have been mentioned here when it comes to specification of any kind of reserves we have workman compensation fund as an example here we have capital reserves we have general reserves etc so all these things they form as a reserves for any specific thing or for any general categories of things that we require to create when it comes to creation of reserves to make sure reserves can be created for two things first a general category that means a general reserve and the second thing for any specific reserve that you think that would be required in near future workman compensation fund is a kind of specific reserve that has been entrusted or created with a specific reason the compensation that needs to be provided to workmen in case of any kind of mishap or injury that happens to him or any kind of requirement that is required by the workman itself hence this specific reserve has been created with a simple and the core reason of this reason continuation of topic now we'll be talking about differences under provision and reserves we have mentioned down or we have jotted down certain differences that we have when it comes to provision and reserves so we'll go by it one by one we'll further evaluate how these differences can be used in terms of providing an answers about short notes on provisions or short notes on reserves this is one of the most important thing in the theory part when you have to go ahead and explain what provision is and what reserve is 
So we'll further go ahead and see that thing. Let's go ahead and find out the differences between provisions and reserves. Provision is charged against the profit and loss account. Reserve is nothing but apportionment of the current profit and loss account itself. Provision is a deduction when it comes to charging profit and loss account. However, reserve is just a mere segregation of profit and loss account. You divide or probably make parts of all these reserves when it comes to profit and loss account segregation only for reserves but not for provisions. Provisions you reduce your profit and loss account. You actually cut down the profit part when it comes to provision because there is a loss that you might anticipate or there's a loss that you have already dealt with. Hence there is a provision here. Now basically these are the two differences. We'll further go ahead and evaluate what are the other differences that we might learn when it comes to for the definition. So this is one of the reasons why provision and reserves are created or the effect that it has on profit and loss account. We'll further go ahead and study what it has when it comes to further differentiation of provision and reserves. Let's go on to the second point and figure out that. Now provision is actually created for a known liability or known expense. It actually reduces the value or the balance sheet or when it comes to profit and loss account, it actually reduces the profit of anything when it comes to creation of provision. Hence, when we talk about charging provision, it is actually charging profit and loss account. And that is only for known liability or a known expense that we think it might happen in near future. It will be coming up. However, reserve on the other hand is strengthening the accounting transactions or strengthening the financial transactions or the financial condition of the company. Reserve adds up to the value of your company. Let's go ahead and find out what is the third difference that we have when it comes to differentiation of provisions and reserves. Provision reduces or has a notable effect on the taxation of the company. The taxation profit goes down in this thing. However, when it comes to taxable profit in terms of reserves, there is no effect when it comes to differentiation of reserves or segregation of reserves. So reserves has no effect on the taxable profit. However, provision has an effect on the taxable profit. To make sure or to give you a gist of this, if you show a lot of provision, that means your profit is supposed to go down, which will also inculcate one of the thing that the tax evasion will be one of the part when it comes to show or excessive usage of provision. This might attract the income tax department and will further ask for a lot of clarification on how these provisions have been created and what are the anticipated laws. Hence, to make sure or to understand provision should be created only if you have a known liability or a known expense that you might think might come up at any point of time. Apart from that, if there is any contingency that you think about, you need not create any provision for that. Let that thing happen or let that thing come close and only then a company thinks about opening up a provision for this. However, when it comes to reserve, reserve has no effect on taxable profit and hence there is no change that is required when it comes to taxing any profit and loss account. Let's go ahead and find out few more differences of provision and reserves. So the next difference that we have when it comes to provision and reserve. Reserve is shown on the liability side under the capital amount. However, when it comes to provision, if it is shown on the asset side, it is shown as a deduction from it. However, if it is shown on the liability side, it is shown as a part of liability. Hence, even if you have mentioned provision here, there are two things that you can mention. First, you can either show it as a deduction. Second, you can either show it as a liability side as an addition to the liability. Nothing else. Now, when it comes to the first or the last most thing that when you talk about provision or reserve differences, we'll go further and go ahead and check what are these things or what are these differences that makes this specific answer as a conclusion of it. Now, provision, as you know, has been created for a specific reason, for a known liability, for a known expense. Hence, this thing cannot be used for dividend distribution. However, reserve, as you know, has been created for a specific reason 
when it comes to a specific reserve that has been created. However, we have general reserve as well, which can be used for dividend distribution. Hence, the two categories of reserve that were discussed earlier, that is a general category and a special category. General, which can be used for any specific reason or any specific requirement. However, when it comes to a specific category, like a workman compensation fund, that means this specific reserve has been created to give out compensations to our workmen in case of any injury, any mishap that happens to them, or any requirement that we have in terms of workmen union. Hence, these are the differences that we have studied about when it comes to provision, when it comes to reserves. The definition, the meaning, and the differences can form a one specific answer or a short note on provisions and reserves. So that's what we have learned for provisions and reserves for the day. That's it for the day. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.